How do you create values with your watercolors? I'm going to show you how to do that today. I'm Jess Rice. I'm an art teacher and beginners are my specialty. In a previous video, I did a little value sketch. So now I'm going to transfer that to the watercolor. I'm still going to follow my values in my watercolor here. But once I started drawing this out of my watercolor paper, I decided I want to change the orientation of my paper. I drew this one out landscape, but I wanted a little bit higher tree in this one. So I changed the orientation of my paper to be portrait or tall. So that's about the only change I made. I'm going to keep my values the same and I'm going to use paint and different colors to create those values. You can do values in a couple different ways. I can do it all at once on my first wash, or I can come back and layer over the top of each color, making it a little bit darker. But I'm going to start in with some different colors just to kind of start breaking things apart, following my value sketch as a road map. This one I'm going to work wet paint onto dry paper. It'll just be a little bit easier to show the values of it. Start with the side of my house. Sunlight's obviously coming in this direction. I can see on my value sketch, the front of my house is all lit up. This side is in shadow. I'm going to use a nice light blue to create a mid-tone, my mid-tone color. I want to use quite a bit of water. I don't want to use quite as much pigment. So I get my paint really wet. Get quite a bit of water going in there, less pigment. Yeah, I'm just going to block this side of my house out. All that on that side is in shadow. It's not my darkest color. It's probably the middle of the road. It's not my light. The front of my house is going to stay fairly white. Where else do I have those nice light mid-tones? In my windows? How about a little light blue in them? It's just a mid-tone blue. Keep it nice and light. I'm going to go darker than that in my tree, so I just need to stay in between my tree color and the light of my building color. Add a little bit of color to the roof. Probably make it a nice red roof. Maybe a little bit darker red. Again, lots of water. I'm creating a mid tone. I want to add lots of water to my pigment, get it nice and juicy. Start painting that in. I can even lay down a little bit of color, rinse my brush, grab a little bit of water and vary up all that value on my roof. I can go just a little, one, one step further with it. Shake up my value on that whole roof. It's darker up here on top. When I added water, it got a lot lighter. If I pull those colors together, they're gonna mix together a little bit. Now I've got a nice mid-tone there as well. Different color, but still in this value range of mid-tone. I'm still gonna go much darker back here with my tree. I want to mix up a little bit darker color. Let's use this nice ultramarine blue. Ultramarine blue is a nice dark color. Oops, I don't want red in my tree. I want a little bit of yellow. A little bit of Indian yellow, a little bit of ultramarine. Makes a beautiful green. My darker color, my darker values, I want my paint to be a little bit thicker. Got quite a bit of space to go here, so I want quite a bit of color mixed up. There we go, there's a beautiful green. Right up against my red. Obviously much darker there now. Continue that up my tree. I like to leave some nice sky holes in my tree. That's where the birds get through. And it actually helps, makes your tree shape look like a tree shape. As soon as you add those sky holes. A little more paint. You can see how much paint this is taking. I want that darker color all the way up. I'm following my road map, my original value sketch. Nice and dark right up against my roof. I like that dark line right around there. Again, I'm just following my value sketch. It's making my life much easier. It's just a little roadmap for me to follow. Don't even have to think about what I'm doing here too much. Last little bit of step here. 
nice and dark along my back side. Now what else is dark? Where are my other darks at? In my doorway, I decided to make my door dark just like my tree. Maybe not the same color. I can switch the color, color up, but I want that same value. I still want that same dark value. Let's go with a nice dark red door. Again, my paint's just a little bit thicker. Obviously darker than my mid-tone. It's nice and dark. You can vary that up. Rinse my brush. Pull some of that nice dark paint down just to vary it up a little bit as well. I see my values are starting to work a little bit. I've got my nice darks, I've got my mid-tones, and I've got my nice lit area. Sunlight's coming this direction, it's lighting the front of my house, this side's in shadow. Back to my little value sketch, there's a couple other things I want to put in here. These little shadows underneath the eaves, nice mid-tone. I'm going to use the same shadow I used on the back side here, that nice light blue. Little shadow underneath those eaves. Rinse my brush, and I can just pull that down slightly, just to get a little bit of color in the front of my building. I can always cut around my windows, create some mullion windows. I'm still nice and light though, but I'm just putting just a little bit of color in there now but kept it nice and light. Obviously my sunlight's still hitting this side, this side's in shadow. Now I just need a little something here in front. I need to put a shadow on the base, let everything sit on the ground. Everything should sit in a shadow or on a shadow. Makes them less floaty. Had a nice mid-tone in there. Let's start with a green. Ooh, look how that's running up into my little house there. I like that. Let accidents happen in your watercolors. Happy accidents right there. Run that shadow along there. A little bit along there. Rinse my brush. See how that makes that house sit right down on the ground now? Feather that out a little bit. Need a little bit of brush on this side. I'm gonna make it just a little yellower. Break away from my little value sketch a little bit. I didn't have a brush there, but I thought it might be kind of a nice little area to put a little bush back here. Just to push up against the side of the house a little bit. So this is how you create values with watercolors. Gives you a much easier roadmap to follow. As you're painting, you don't have to be guessing all the time. What's light? What's dark? What should I make lighter or darker? You don't even have to think about it. You can just follow your roadmap from your value sketch.